Bahrain has now announced it will establish full diplomatic relations with Israel. This comes a month after the United Arab Emirates normalized relations, bringing the number of Arab countries that recognize Israel to four. Egypt did so, of course, in 1979, Jordan in 1994. The historic deal between the UAE and Israel will be signed tomorrow at a big White House ceremony. The question now is, will other Arab states follow suit? Joining me now is Ambassador Lana Nuseba, the United Arab Emirates Ambassador to the United Nations. Ambassador, welcome. Thank you very much for being with us today. Wondering Thank you, Andrew. This is going to pave the way, do you think? Well, it's very exciting about the UAE. There have been uh, sort of relations, unofficial relationships and, and a lot of connections between the UAE and Israel, we know, and between the Saudis and Israel, as a matter of fact, not acknowledged publicly. So do you think so Sudan and Oman might follow suit? And what about the possibilities of your close neighbor, Saudi Arabia, actually joining as well? Andrea, thank you very much for hosting me, and I hope you and your family are well. First of all, I would like to acknowledge, as you've just said, that this is indeed a historic signing of an accord tomorrow between the United Arab Emirates and Israel and under the oversight of the United States. And I think we shouldn't uh, underemphasize how important this is for the region when two dynamic entrepreneurial economic powerhouses like the UAE and Israel decide to sign a peace accord and work and cooperate towards bettering opportunity uh, and hope for the region. I think this is a moment of optimism, and I think it is one that is shared around the region. The regional reaction has been interesting. It has been overall positive. I think the international reaction has been positive. The Secretary General of the United Nations has welcomed this agreement, and everyone has seen it as a step change in promoting a new dynamic for the region, a dynamic of hope and optimism. So I'm delighted to be here to witness this important signing.